here I'm going to show you a relatively easy way to work with colors in VBA. It really doesn't have to be as difficult as Excel tries to make it sometimes. And we're going to use cell background color as the example. So let's go to the VBA window and get started. Alt F11 and open up module one and definitely download the file because there are a lot more comments and notes here that explain exactly what I'm doing. Now the first thing that you want to do if you're working with colors is figure out how to access the color for whatever you're dealing with. If you've ever worked with colors, you know what I mean. Let's say we want to work with the color for a range and range A1. Well, how do we actually get there? For ranges, we do dot interior and then period, but do you use color, color index? How about theme color, tint and shade? So many options. And that's where things can get confusing, especially if you use the macro recorder to generate the code. But we are going to use color and then equals. So this is the first hardest part, is to actually figure out how to access color for what you're working with. In my full VBA course, we deal with shapes quite a lot, and accessing colors there is a lot more involved than just for ranges. But once you've figured out how to access the color, then you want to make it so that you can input an RGB color. And that's what we can do here. Just type RGB, open parentheses, and then you input three numbers. Now don't worry, I'm going to show you how to find these numbers in just a moment, but you input them and you can pretty much create whatever color you want here. And let's close this guy and make this a little bit smaller. And now look at cell A1, run the macro, and we have a lovely gray color. But at this point you may be saying, okay, great, so I have some numbers and an RGB function. How does that make my life easier? I don't even know how to get these numbers. Well, here's what you do. Go to the spreadsheet, select a cell, and then go to your little paint bucket and go down to more colors. And then go to the custom tab and on here, select whatever color you want. And then you're moving around, you're moving around. Notice that it doesn't look like anything's changing over here for the color, by the way. Don't forget to grab this little arrow and pull it down. And when you do this, you are going to see the red, the green, and the blue numbers all change for this color right here. So you select a color that you want, maybe this kind of color, and then you input 121, 70, and 214 in the macro. And we can also apply it to the cell. And now let's say that you're playing around with colors and you see a cell and it has a color that you like. How do you figure that color out? Well, just click it. Go back to the paint bucket, or you could go to right click format cells and then go to the fill tab, more colors. And it takes us to the custom tab again, and you can see red, green and blue numbers right here, 121, 70 and 214. So then we just go back here, 121, 70 and 214. And let's make this A2, run the macro, and we have our color. Very nice. But the really good thing with this is that we can actually get a number out of the RGB function and then save it inside of a variable or a constant and then use that throughout the entire macro or project or module to have a consistent color scheme within our workbook or worksheet. That way you don't have to rely on these guys over here the themes and you can have your own kind of custom theme within the macros which works great when you build out much bigger macros now how do we get the number for this 121.72.14 well you just copy it you hit Control g and the notes for this are in the downloadable file so don't worry about that then you hit a question mark for the immediate window and you input the rgb function hit enter and we're going to get a number and this number you can now store and use as a reference for this color. So we will start from scratch. How about a four dot interior dot color equals that number. We can close the immediate window now, drag this over, run it, and there you go. And this number is what you can store in constants because remember you can't store the result of a function in a constant you have to store an actual value. 
And if you don't know what a constant is, this is a great time for you to check out my VBA course, which explains everything about constants and static variables and global variables and project-wide variables and all of those amazing things that I don't have time to talk about here. But for colors, this is how I recommend you work with colors. Get the colors that you want here in the worksheet, however you want them, then look up the RGB values for them and go in here and use the RGB function or get the actual hard-coded number from it.